Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm very excited to show you another ESP32 powered LED panel video. Today's video has been sponsored by PCBWay. They were nice enough to sponsor some new shipments of my latest revision of the PCB. And this will be a video review of their sponsorship. So let's first take a close look at the PCBs we received. If we can get to focus, there we go. Everything looks very good. One thing that I noticed on these boards is the silk screen here, where I have a lot of tiny text, is actually quite a bit more readable than the PCBs I received from some of their competitors. Let me get one of those out. So here's a PCB from a different company. You can see the lettering is just a little bit... Let me get the background focused. The lettering is a little fat there, but then on the PCB way version, it looks a little bit more crisp. Let's see if I can get those side by side. So I think the smaller lettering is a little bit more legible. Another thing I liked with PCBWay is uh, for a small added fee, they allow you to print your board without any of the order number information printed on the side. Um, and you don't need to do paneling to do that. With some of the competitors, I had to order the boards like this and then snap them off um, in order to get the order numbers printed on the side so that my circuit board itself would be nice and clean. Whenever you snap these circuit boards, you end up with these little ridges or uh, little fibers in the side that you have to shear off. Uh, and if they already come like this, you don't have to worry about that. Um, these edges that I put, these little rounded corners on the PCB, are a lot more noticeable than on these paneled versions I received by the competitor. So here is one of my boards fully assembled. I tried to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, but unfortunately I don't have the proper solution yet, so it looks a little bit more messy. Um, but you can see here I've added the uh, output connector and then smoothing capacitor on this side, two screw terminals for the 5 volt power rails, and then there's the nine extra GPIO pins up here um, with the pin headers so you can plug in DuPont connectors and go crazy. Um, then we have these pins here where you can see the ESP32 and directly plug it in if you want to be able to remove it otherwise you can directly solder the ESP32 on here um, so another one of these is inside the pink purse here and that's what is demonstrating our animated GIF sketch here of course like you've seen in the previous video uh, you can control that with Wi-Fi on your phone looking closely at this PCB I can see that on this positive terminal on the C1 capacitor, it seems like the hole is not perfectly centered, but in practice, um, actually soldering the capacitor to it, I verify there's no issue with that, and that seems to just be purely cosmetic complaint. So overall, I'm very pleased with these PCBs I received from PCBWay. Um, thank you again for your sponsorship, PCBWay. This will help me continue to develop this project um, and hopefully the next video will have a whole lot more panels running um, powered by the ESP32 and these boards. Thank you so much.